Today should prove to be a fairly exciting day. Hello from Farland. I'm going to calibrate my motor luggage van, which is a Bachman. Hornby has all their locomotives calibrated into the Railmaster software, but they don't have their competitors. However, they've allowed a way to calibrate a competitor's locomotive so that it, its speed can be displayed accurately and then run at accurate speeds. I have already completed this task with my other locomotives, but I have not done it with this motor luggage van. It should be pretty exciting to do it. The first thing I did was I had to measure out 6.274 meters. To measure off the distance, I used my navigation calipers and set them for 15 centimeters. And then I went around the track and measured off the uh, 6.274 meters. I put a red flag near the track over there and then measured it out and came out with another flag right there. So what I will be doing is timing between the two flags at full throttle. Full throttle is a little exciting with this particular uh, locomotive. It runs very fast. I'll now bring it out of the shed and onto the track. It's coming around to the starting gate now. So that's where it'll start from, but I have to give it a running start. Since I can't hold the stopwatch, operate the camera, follow the coach, operate the train, and everything, because I don't have enough hands to do that with, what I've decided to do is start the train, start the stopwatch, and then come over here, and hopefully you'll be able to see it, even though it'll be a little fuzzy when I stop it. Here goes. Well, I better slow it down before it flies off the track because I don't want it to crash on the cement floor. I decided my track was a little bit dirty, so I've cleaned a bunch of it, and uh, we're going to try this again. Okay, well, here we go. That was a good start. Good stop. 886. Cleaning the track helps considerably. Go a couple more times here. Be sure. So throwing out all the other times and just using the ones after I had cleaned the track. Cleaning the track makes considerable difference. I see that of the five timings. 8.86 and so on uh, adds up and I average them out to 8.79 so that's the number we're going to use in the Hornby formula so in order to time it now I've put in the the actual times that I looked up on Wikipedia to find out how fast that loco locomotive actually should go and I've entered those in there, but I was running it all out, no limits, as fast as it could go. So you come down here and there's a little button, 
that brings that up. And in it, you enter the real maximum speed, which is 90, and the time to travel that distance, which is 8.79. And then Hornby sets that up so that it will, at full speed, go 90 miles an hour, scale speed. I'll save that and go find it. Bring it up. Let's open it up and see what it does now. Well, it's a little tamer. Still flying along pretty good. I'm sure that scale speed for 90 miles an hour, but on a model train layout, it seems like it's much better if things go slower. So I'll probably never run it that fast.